Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. And you clicked on to the Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for November 16th to the 20th. For um, That's supposed to be November 16th, just realized, to the 30th. I'm sorry about that. I'll make a correction. Um, we're going to first look at the pattern for the 16th to the 20th. And this is what we have here. We have a ridge here between Hawaii and the mainland. Trough remains here in the west, ridging here, and here's our upper low near um, uh, southeast Canada. Now, um, we also have a ridge here across the Gulf of Mexico. Some of the models show that. Across here. So, uh, we'll be uh, watching. We also have a potential tropical cyclone. I'll get to that a little later. Okay, the western trough in the east is forecast to split. And um, this will send energy to the northern stream through the northern plains and the Midwest. The southern stream will also drop south and then track eastward by early next week. And will result in cyclogenesis in the Lee of the Rockies. We'll show that here. See that low right here? And then that lifts uh, northeastward. This will bring heavy rain and mountain snows to the region. Snow will be on the backside mainly of the system, and another atmospheric river event will affect the northwest, will bring heavy snow and um, uh, heavy snow in the mountains and rain in the valleys. You can see it right here. Just over the weekend, here comes the next one. You see the heavy snow here. So we'll keep an eye. All the active weather will be going across there. Okay. Um, we're going to look now at the period for uh, November 21st to the 25th. And um, the some of the models, like the, the GFS builds a ridge into the west, zonal flow below normal heights here in the east, positive height anomalies here, that's blocking. The European ensembles, they haven't loaded yet, also builds a ridge into the west, but has a trough further to the west across the Mississippi Valley. Across this region here, you can see it here with a flatter flow there. And um, so I'll, this one, I'm going to forecast for this period. I'm going to call for below normal temperatures here, and I'm calling for anomalies be about six degrees below normal, mainly here. The reason here and not to the north is because the anomalies are higher this time of year down here, it still remain high. And above normal precip above normal temperatures are forecast here with the anomalies near eight degrees above normal, mainly in this area here. For precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here and for this region, and the probability of occurrence is 35%, low probabilities because of conflicting model signals. And now <coughs> excuse me. Now we're going to take a look at the period for November 26th to the 30th. And we can see here that all the models are in better agreement, bringing the trough further to the east, ridge and bills into the west. The um, GEF, GE, uh, the GEFS um, and the NAEFS depicts a flatter flow, but still ridging. You can see region here in the west, troughing here, but still a flatter flow compared to the other models, more amplified. So for this forecast period, I am calling a little change in the temperature anomalies and for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence near 35%, below normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence near 35%. Okay, now we're going to take a look at potential tropical cyclone here, number 19th. Here it is here. We're going to take a look at it at satellite pictures. It's this blob right here. Again, we're looking at it. You see the brighter whites. It's getting uh, better organized here. Convection is rounding. It seems to be a compact system. So these systems can either flare up really fast or... Uh, wind down really fast. So we have to keep an eye on this. And uh, there was an update. There was an update. I don't know. How. Okay, but here's the current position as of 4 p.m. 
16.2 north, 79.0 west. Maximum sustained winds are 70 miles an hour. Movement to the west at 6. Okay, and uh, we're going to look at, let me see what we can put on here. I think yeah, there's watches and warnings in effect here. Uh, we have, uh, let, me, let me get to the text advisory because I, I can't see that. Um, okay, uh, the government uh, Nicaragua has issued a tropical storm watch for the Honduras Nicaragua border south of Puerto Cabazas. Hurricane watch is in effect for Ponta Castella to the Honduras Nicaragua border. Uh, tropical storm watch is in effect for Honduras Nicaragua border to Puerto Cabazas. Okay, and um, this system is forecast to bring life-threatening, whatever it does develop, or if it even does, but it's a pretty good probability that this will form at any time now, and this will bring life-threatening uh, flash flooding and mudslides to Central America. So uh, let me see. I thought there was an update. Okay, so here it is here. This is where it's forecast to go. We'll put the cone on, cone of uncertainty you can see. And there's a lot of variables there as it reaches here, how it interacts with land, um, the wind shear. Once it gets into the Western Gulf of Mexico, there's plenty of deep warm waters here. A lot of fuel for this. And uh, let me see. It's forecast, okay, to remain a tropical storm. We don't know if we're going to have a hurricane or anything, but anything's possible here because, like I said, there's plenty of warm water. And the shear, though, is higher across the Gulf of Mexico during this time of year. So we have to keep an eye, like I said, on this. And let me see if... Um, I'm going to update this to see if I can get the I thought I saw something flash up. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, that's it for now. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for November 16th to the 30th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day. Oh, and don't forget to watch my YouTube channel. Um, that'll be live at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, that's it for now. Have a good day.